hi fellow sinchers welcome back to my channel so today we're learning how to make twist up so i made something similar before just that we actually added bands to the down so just like it's been displayed on the screen and then a lot of you re actually requested for how to make the one that is covered so i decided to actually put it out to this so if this looks like what you're interested in please continue watching if you're stopping by for the first time i am lillian you're very much welcome let's get into it so this tutorial we are going to be working with crepe so i have roughly one yard here it's actually not up to a yard just half a yard so that's what i'll be working with so as usual first thing first you are going to come down by a few inches okay so you can mark down two inches or one inch so whatever works for you so after doing that next we are going to do is to share this pattern into two so what we are going to do measure from one point to the other end and then just mark the midpoint okay so this is us trying to like divide this pattern into two so just measure from one edge to the other edge and then go ahead and then mark the midpoint just as you can see me do so after doing that what we are going to do now is to go ahead and take your ruler and then just create your middle line so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our neckline so from your middle line come down by three inches and then also make the neck width three inches just as you can see me do repeat it on the other side then use your curve ruler to create your neckline just as you can see me do so after creating your neckline what you are going to do next is to divide your shoulder measurement by two mine is 14 divided by two which is seven i'm going to mark it here and then repeat the same thing on the other side remember whatever we are doing we are starting from that middle line so i'm going to mark down my chest line now which is eight inches so i'm going to go ahead and then mark my eight inches so whatever your chest line is go ahead and then mark down whatever you have and then create your, your chest line so just as you can see me do now i'm going to label this out as my chest line so i'm going to repeat my shoulder measurement on my chest line and then do the same thing on the other side so when you are done connect it back to your shoulder just as you can see me do connect it like so and then do the same thing on the other side so i'm going to come down by my shoulder slant i will make use of one and a half inch and then i'll mark the same thing on this other side and then i'm going to connect it to create my shoulder slant please if whatever works for you go ahead if you use one inch go ahead and maintain your one inch so what i'm going to do next is to find my midpoint by folding my tape into two and then i'm going to mark whatever i have there and then i'm going to go in by half inch after going in by half inch i'm going to mark and then connect it back to my shoulder slant just as you can see me do i'll repeat the same thing on the other side find the midpoint also mark and then go in by the same half inch and then i'm going to take my ruler and then i'm going to also take it back to my shoulder slant so after doing that i'm going to mark my underboss so guys because of the style we are working with we are going to be needing our underboss just underboss so i'm using 13 and a half inch i'm going to be marking my 13 and a half inch just as you can see me too we don't need boss points so it's just under boss so i'm going to go ahead and then create my under boss and then i'm going to label it as my as my under boss so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to mark our shoulder to waistline or half length whatever you call it mine is 16 so i'm going to be marking my 16 inches so whatever your shoulder to waistline is please go ahead and mark it so after marking i'm going to go ahead and then create my waistline so after creating your waistline what you're going to do is to label so guys sorry actually label on under boss is a mistake i will have to cancel and then label it as my waistline it's my waistline not under boss i'm sorry so the next thing we are going to do is to mark our waist to hip line so i use nine inches so you can use whatever you want remember nine inches is not standard and then if you want it to get to your knee you want it as a dress you can also take it to your knee line so i'm going to stop here because i don't have enough fabric so i'm just going to stop on my hip line and then label it as my hip line so after doing that we're going to go in by our ramble circumference divided by four so my is nine i'm going to mark it here and then mark it on the other side so i'm marking nine inches because my ramble circumference is 36 divided by four is nine so i'm going to connect it to my armhole and then i'll do the same thing to the other side so after doing that i'm going to come over to my waistline i'm also going to mark my waist circumference divided by four which is seven because my waist circumference is 28 so whatever yours is divided by four and then mark so after doing that i'm going to connect it back to my chest line from my waist to my chest and i repeat the same thing on the other side then i'm also going to come over to my hip line divide my hip circumference by four so i'm making use of 10 inches because my hip circumference i'm using 40 so i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to connect remember whatever you are doing here you are repeating it on the other side so just as you can see me do go ahead repeat it on the other side so after doing that the next thing we are going to do now is to come down by whatever length that we want to use so i'll be using six inches 
so you can actually like i said use whatever you want so i'm okay with six inches so i'm just going to mark it there so that will be my full length now and then i'm going to label it as my full length okay so i use six inches so you can use whatever you want remember so guys please pay attention to this point so remember this is our chest line so depending on what you want okay so if you want your cleavage to show very well you can actually use like seven inches or seven and a half inch or even use your chest line so it depends so for me i'm going to be marking six and a half inch okay so i'm going to be marking six and a half inch because i want to show just a little i don't want to show too much so i'm going to connect from that point to my shoulder just as you can see and then take it back to my under boss so hope this makes sense connect from that point and then take it back to your under boss so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to we are not going to be needing this so i'm just going to stroke it out and then i'm going to go ahead and then add half inch so this makes sense so just go ahead and then add your half inches allowance just as you can see me too after adding your allowance after marking just use your ruler to connect the whole points together so after doing that the next thing we are going to do is to add our allowance round so just go ahead and add around so this point i'm marking is actually my under boss because we are going to slit it open so before slitting we are going to add our allowance and so our normal way add half inch on the shoulder slant and then on your armhole and then by the side add one inch and then at the bottom which is our full length we are also going to be adding half inch so i will go ahead and do that guys this is it after marking our allowance so we are going to go ahead and then cut out so just watch carefully how i'm going to cut out so that you can also do the same We'll go ahead and then slash okay at the under boss where we we'll mark so go ahead and then slash it open just as you can see me do now that's our under boss that is actually the point i'm cutting now so i'm going to label it though it's obvious i'm still going to label it up and down and then um, this is the front so we have two piece as the front piece i'm going to set it as so that we can draft out the back pattern it's just our normal basic back pattern i'm just going to create a line leave a space for my zip allowance and then also leave a space at the top for allowance also for the neckline i'm going to be using three inches so it has to be the same with the front and then the neck depth i'm going to be using two inches then i'm going to go ahead and create my neckline and then divide my shoulder measurement by two i marked seven inches and then come down by my chest line which is eight inches just as you can see me do and then i'm going to mark my half length okay so my half length is 16 inches just as you can see me do so i'm marking the same half length as the front and then i'm going to create my line so i'm just going to mark my shoulder measurement so i will connect it back to my shoulder line just as you can see so i'm just labeling my chest line then this is it for my waistline so i'm going to be marking coming down by one and a half inch the same thing with the front actually and then find the midpoint here then i'm going to mark the midpoint and then go in by half inch so it's just the same thing we did at the front so it's just a few difference here just connect it back to your shoulder line and then mark your round bust circumference divide by four and then connect back to that other midpoint and then you are also going to divide your waist circumference by four also mark my seven so i'm going to also connect so i'm going to add a strap paper here so i already added a strap paper i'm going to come down by nine inches just as you can see me to also go ahead come down by nine inches which is your hip line divide your hip circumference by four so mine is ten so i already marked that i'll connect so like i said it's the same thing actually so we came down by six and a half six inches sorry remember i'm repeating the same thing and then i'm going to add my allowance so on the waistline go in by half inch and then connect it to the chest line and then take it down to your full length sorry sorry about that so this is it so all we are going to do now is to add allowance so if you wish you can actually dart the back though but i didn't that i don't as you can see i don't have any that so my fabric is a bit stretchy so i don't need that so i'm just going to add my allowance just as you can see me too so go ahead and then add your allowance remember to also add your zipper allowance so just go ahead and add like i said if you wish you can that but i didn't that's mine so you can that's your back pattern if you wish to just so we are just going to go ahead and cut out that's all just go ahead and then cut out so after cutting out the next thing we are going to do now 
is to go ahead and then cut that on our fabric we're starting with the front pattern so my fabric is actually on fold so i'm just going to add half inch to the down okay so this is the front pattern i place my fabric on fold we are going to be cutting two pieces just as you can see we are going to be cutting two pieces so just go ahead add your half inch so after adding your half inch go ahead and then just cut that so that is it for the front pattern guys so this is it okay so i'm going to set it aside remember to mark the wrong side i'm going to do the same thing here so mark the wrong side of your fabric so this is it so i'm going to set it aside so remember the front piece is actually two so we are going to cut out the other one so just add half inch to the top here so this one you don't need to place it on fold so all you need to do is just to place it and then cut out so we don't need to place it on fold so after marking your half inch just go ahead and then cut out so guys this is it so mark the wrong side so do it to mark the wrong side just as you can see me too and then i'm going to set it aside so we are going to cut out the back piece so for the back piece you don't need to add anything everything we need is already on the pattern so just go ahead and then cut out So guys this is it so mark the wrong side also do the same thing to the other piece mark the wrong side so you are going to go over now and then hem the neckline so you can either sew by half inch or hem with hemming gum by half inch so the other piece the other front piece we are also going to do the same thing with it so you are going to hem in half inch to the wrong side you either sew or hem so whatever works for you do the same thing to the second piece so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys welcome back so this is it i already hem as you can see i hem by half inch i use hemming gum i guess we all know what hemming gum is so this is hemming gum so i didn't sew i choose to hem and then i did the same thing to the second piece i also hem just as you can see so we are hemming to the wrong side i'm going to set it aside and then i'm going to bring this in so i already also hem this just as you can see so i hem by half inch also so what we are going to do now so you don't need to hem this actually so i'm just going to set it aside and then what we are going to do we are going to take one piece of this just as you can see take it to the side and then we are going to pin down so hope this makes sense take the edge and then take it to the side your armhole side and then just pin down so go ahead and pin down just as you can see me do so guys so just go ahead and pin down just as you can see me do so i want you to know that you can use any of the piece you can use this you can use this so it's still going to be the same thing at the end of the day so we are still going to achieve the same thing you can use any of the piece so i'm going to first of all mark out half inch from this point okay from that midpoint i mark out half inch and i'm going to mark half inch down okay because that's the allowance we are going to be joining with we are just going to stop at that first half inch that i marked there as the midpoint so i will stop at that half inch and then take it down to the end okay so this other piece like i said you can use this you can use the other one so you see the same thing so i'll go over to my machine and do that and then i'll bring it back guys so this is it oh i already joined just like i instructed remember i asked us to leave at that half inch first of all mark at the midpoint there eh? so this is, the, is it for the other piece so what we are going to do now we're going to pass this through the half inch to left there eh? remember i asked us to leave at half inches so just use your you can use whatever you have to actually push it through in case you are finding it difficult you can see what i'm doing so just push it through and then bring it out okay so carefully bring it out as you can see and then i'm going to turn it okay so that it will be in opposite direction so you can see what i'm doing just turn it to make sure it's aligned with the other side so what we are going to do now we are going to turn it to the other side so guys please watch this point very careful i had to slow this video down so that we will understand it so what i'm going to do remember this is the side that is actually hem 
So I am this side. So the side within him is the side we are going to turn to the other side and then so that we can actually join together. So just what I'm going to do. This is the hem part. So the other side, I didn't hem the other side. So this is the other side that is not him. So that side that is not him, we are going to just take it like this. You can see what I'm doing now. And then bring the upper part. Just take it to this other side. Okay. Take it to this other side and then just put it together like so. So hope this makes sense. So just like the same way we join the other side, we are just turning it over to this other side. Go ahead and paint down. So just as you can see me too, carefully paint down. We are going to paint it down, 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 close to the point where we actually stitched before. So just make sure you don't overlap it, okay? So just go ahead and paint down. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to lift it up so that we can see it very well. So pin, pin, pin very close to the stitch that we have before so make sure like you don't overlap it okay we are just trying to make that point very tight so that we won't have sp any space there okay so hope this makes sense so after pinning that what we are going to do now we are going to be joining by half inch stitch very close to that end but make sure you don't sew across to the other side so guys so hope this makes sense so if you have any question on this also ask so i'll go back to my machine and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys welcome back so just like i instructed those already join and then i iron out so i'm just going to turn it down this is it so this is it now so what we are going to do now, you are going to bring in the other piece. Remember the front piece actually too. So this is the other one. So what we are going to do, we are going to fold this into two equal half to get the midpoint. So I would advise you don't notch. Instead of notching, use your chalk, please. Don't notch, okay? To avoid problems. So just use your uh, your chalk or whatever you have to mark it, okay? So just as you can see. So after marking... What we are going to do now is to arrange this very well. So make sure you arrange it. You can see what I'm doing. So arrange it very well. And then we are going to turn it. So remember that po this point is actually our midpoint. And then this po this very point that our, our knot actually form that our twist form is our midpoint here. So you can see what I'm trying to do. So make sure you align it very well. So align it very well. So just cross these points. This our these points that we actually hem. So just like you kind of like cross it and then arrange very well. Okay. So you don't need to do too much. So just cross it. Just make sure that like they are overlapping there. Very small. And then we are going to place it at that point where we mark our chalk. So that is going to be like our middle line. Just like you are aligning it center to center. So I have to bring it up so that you see what I'm talking about. And then we are just going to go ahead and then just pin it down. Okay. So just align it there and then pin down. So hope this makes sense. So if you have any question on this, also ask. So that i can clarify you in case you are confused so just go ahead and then pin it down okay so hope you can see it so just make sure you can see it now so just make sure they are lining at that point and then pin down so i'm going to pin to the other side okay i'm going to pin from here to the end and then i'm also going to go ahead and then pin to the other end so i'm just going to go ahead and do that After pinning on both sides we are going to join by a half inch so join very small you can see how i'm demonstrating it so when you come over there just make sure you actually hold it together at that point so that there won't be space that's the only point of us actually like joining that point if not we are not supposed to join it so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys welcome back so this is it after joining i join and then i iron out so just as you can see so just look closely so you will see how i actually join at that point so just just stitch it you are just trying to close that point that's all okay so this is it so we are going to bring in the back piece so for the back piece just align it shoulder to shoulder i'm going to join it shoulder to shoulder first and then i'll bring it back so that i can explain it better so i'm just going to pin it at the shoulder there and then i'm going to go ahead and join it then i'll bring it back to explain it better so guys welcome back so this is it I already joined at the shoulder i wanted us to actually understand this better that was why i joined first so the excess that we have here what we are going to do you are not just don't just mind that excess okay because at the end of the day remember we actually mark out our underboss so that excess will help us to reduce our underboss so that it will grip us very well at the underboss so hope that makes sense so we are going to cut that off so first of all before cutting off we are going to first of all pin down so just as you can see me too so align it and then when you come over to where your 
SS is just ignore it and then just go down and then pin. Make sure the whole point is aligning. So I'm going to turn it over. So I already marked my one inch. So you are going to mark your one inch, okay, to the end. So what we are going to do with that SS, we are actually going to cut it off. So what I'm going to do, you can see what I'm doing now. Do where to actually cut it off because we don't need it, okay? So we are going to turn it to the right side. So all you need to do is to mark one inch, okay? You already seen how I mark my one inch. So make sure you align whatever you have left there and then mark your one inch so everything there is actually one inch so just mark one inch to the end so we are going to do the same thing to this other side so we are also going to pin on our shoulder line so the shoulder is half inch as usual and then to the side we are also going to go ahead and then pin down so i have to turn it so that you see it so always make sure you bring out that excess is okay because by the time we cut out like i said it will help us to actually grip our underboards very well you have seen my finished look so i'm going to cut it off okay we don't need that excess so go ahead and then mark out your one inch okay so just mark one inch we are joining by one inch so i'll go ahead and join it together and then i'll bring it back guys this is it after sewing so what you are going to do now as you can see i joined by one inch so you are going to go ahead and fix your zipper and then hem it down and then as for the sleeve you are going to choose what you want to do you can hem it you can choose to add your sleeve so this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching so guys this is the finished look thank you so much for watching so i really didn't add sleeve to mine see you on my next video bye